Hello everyone. My name is Kimono Hitomi, specialist of kimono and Japanese culture. It's my pleasure to create this video for Greater Victoria Public Library Asian Heritage Month 2021 in place of live presentation usually provided. In my video, I'd like to introduce Japanese culture through the scope of kimono. If you're interested in kimono, Japan, and its culture, please stay tuned. Here, I would like to start with the Japanese style greeting. Minasama, dozo yoroshiku, onegaitashimasu. Kimono are Japanese traditional clothing with a history of over 1200 years. With the word kimono, Many people might think of traditional Japanese attire for ladies. But kimono in Japanese language means things to wear and is used as a general term for all clothing, including men's, women's, and clothing for all age groups and styles. Some kimono are set in styles over 600 years ago, but many we still commonly wear are of the styles used in Edo period of Japan. Nowadays, traditional kimono are not commonly worn as everyday clothing. But until early 1900, kimono were Japanese people's everyday clothing and there were so many different types of kimono. Let's see some variety of kimono we still commonly wear, starting from the formal style attire. These are formal kimono, called monzuki. Mon means family crest, and tsuki means placed, attached. These kimono all have mon, the family crest, on them. For men, when wearing monzuki, hakama, the trouser type of attire, and haori, the jacket component of kimono, are worn together. Generally, we call them Montsuki Haori Hakama, as those three items are set items for men's formal attire. There are three variation styles in Montsuki kimono. Itsutsumon, five Montsuki, Mitsumon, three Montsuki, and Hitotsumon, single Montsuki. Variation of these three types of monzuki is to classify the level of formalness of kimono. More numbers are more formal. So five monzuki is most formal kimono. If itsutsumon, five monzuki, the mon placements are three on the back and two in the front. Here shown is men's monzuki kimono with the haori, kimono jacket, and hakama, trouser type of men's kimono attire. Here shown is the example of five monzuki for ladies. In Japanese culture, it is important to pay good respect to others and things around us. To show respect, we keep polite and formal attitudes. Generally speaking, Traditional Japanese culture places a great importance in politeness and formalness. So that goes in kimono culture as well. Paying attention to the levels of formalness and class differences are something important when coordinating kimono attire. Being polite and wearing formal attire is considered to be part of showing respect to others. Here are some more example varieties of men's formal kimono. Women's formal attire kimono comes with special pattern placement aside of having mom, family crests. These are some examples of young ladies' kimono. The long sleeve kimono is called furisode. Furisode is the most formal kimono attire for young ladies. These kimono are some examples of most formal attire for mature ladies.
Here, I would like to briefly introduce you how to put kimono on. Kimono, which means things to wear, made to wrap a body when it's warm. Kimono does not have any buttons or fasteners, it's like Western clothes, but instead we wrap our body and tie with the Himo belt. After wearing kimono, we put obi belt, which has great decorative element on kimono for ladies. And mind you that the width and tying styles of obi like these started to appear in Edo period. And there are various ways of obi tie styles. Here, I would like to briefly refer to ohikizuri style of kimono. Kimono with a train. In the older days, in and before the Edo period, ladies of non-working class wore kimono with a long train. Geisha ladies still keep the same kimono wearing styles as those oldies style of kimono with a train, which is called ohikizuri. I would like to introduce you some casual types of kimono, which are made with orimono, woven textile. All the woven textiles of kimono are called tsumugi. Tsumugi are originally homespun type of woven pattern kimono textile. Some are plain single color, some have stripe or splashed woven patterns. Tsumugi textile has region-specific woven design pattern features. Tsumugi textile is originally used by working class people in the Edo period and until around early 1900. During Edo period, what you could wear was designated by the strict social class system. Since kimono made with tsumugi textile were the clothes commoners could use, tsumugi kimono are now coded as casual types of kimono. Here is an example of men's tsumugi kimono. The tsumugi textile of this kimono is yonezawa tsumugi. All these names of tsumugi are after the origin of produced locations. This tsumugi kimono is an example of yuki tsumugi. And this one is oshima tsumugi. Lately, Tsumugi kimono textiles are also getting quite valuable due to the decrease or near extinct of skilled tsumugi textile creators. Here, I would like to mention more casual types of kimono, yukata, which is a cotton kimono and originally was a robe used for and after bathing and for bedtime. During the Edo period, yukata became one of the fashionable summertime clothes and started to be used as an easy and casual summer kimono. Yukata or cotton kimono seems to have become one of the most popularly used kimono among young and new to kimono people lately for its casual and easy wearing protocol. And there are various colorful cotton kimono designs available these days. This is an example of boy's formal kimono and this one is a girl's formal kimono, both dressed for Hichigo-san celebratory occasions. In Japanese culture, there's a festive ritual for children called Hichigo-san, which word means 753 and is a celebratory ceremony for 3 and 7 year old girls and 5 year old boys. Let's see some more examples of children's kimono in these old drawings or ukiyo-e. Nowadays, children in kimono are rarely seen aside of special occasions, but in the older days, everyone was in a kimono every day, and there were various styles of children's kimono as well.
I hope you enjoyed my video today and introduction to kimono culture. If you are interested in Japanese aesthetic styles and kimono cultures, please visit my YouTube channel, Kimono Japan. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again in my other videos or presentations. Mina sama, honjitsu a video o goran kudasari arigatou gozaimashita. Mata o me ni kakaremasu yoni.